Now, what you're seeing here is you see how the muscles are shut down here, this area here. There's like very little activity. That's, believe it or not, not good. That's not good. No, and I'll tell you why. The highest and lowest readings are most important. And when you have super low readings like this, this is the area, what, what's happening is that those muscles are in a, in a chronic state of firing, so they shut down and bulk up. It's like a weightlifter's muscles. You know, they fight. You see a weightlifter with big muscles, but are they firing electrically? No, they're just big. Well, your body does that too naturally to create a splinting and guarding effect without using energy. So it becomes more of a, okay. say, just to, for efficiency, your muscles bulk up and shorten. So when you started, this area was actually really bad, but you may not have even realized it. And no. that's why this is chronic now. This was... I'll June. tell you what was bad in those days. This was really, really bad here. Mm -hmm. We had a little bit of trauma there. Right. Well, this is the compensatory area for this. And you can see how low that is. Same thing. On the right side, see the yeah. yellow reading? That's super low for that same reason. This is in chronic fatigue. But this area here is what concerns me in the fact that it's firing so low in one spot like this. This is just compensation for this. The body Good. is one piece. And, uh -huh. and this middle part here is compensating for this by firing and tightening up a lot. Okay? Uh -huh. Fair enough. Now, this also is the possibility. You have to remember, you don't live a static life. There was probably, did something happen around this time period? Did I just hurt? went, I, no, I didn't exercise that day. I was going to say it worked I, I'd out. I swam um, 2Ks. Okay, so the other answer to this is, if you just, and that was the next question, is did you, if you worked out that day, there's no question. You can't, you're creating micro trauma by working out. Right. There is no way to get a normal, a good reading right. after a workout. It's impossible. Because gotcha. your gotcha. muscles are just going, hey, that just hurt. You know, I just beat the beat myself up, and of course, yeah. I'm gonna fall. So this one, you want to consider an outlier. Technically, these two are accurate. Mm -hmm. This is your outlier, and this, but this shows how accurate the device is. It says you did something that day, which is, yeah. of course, my next question. So, so, so let me ask you this yes. question. So, it, when I came in first, right, I think uh -huh. one of these things was out like that, yep. and I was getting lots of pain for a long time there. Yes, and I'd had an accident, so I had a little bit of whiplash, right? Yep. And it seems that what we've gone and done is that we've fixed this a little bit, but the pattern's like the same. Yes. And we've fixed this a little bit, but the pattern's like the same. It's true. And then we haven't changed this at all, really. No, not at all. And you can see the numbers dropping. Yeah. So that's a good sign. Yeah. So she's getting the overall tension to drop. Uh-huh. So do you do any mid-thoracic uh, stuff, PDA stuff here with him at all, or no? I do some on Thompson table, and I activate Got it. him. Okay. Because he may need more mobility in this area. That's just something just intuitively okay. and low back. I would say there's mobility in the low back would be a good thing. Okay. So those are the two areas that I would cool. focus on. Does that make sense now? Yeah. 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 But this is a reflection purely. Yeah, purely of exercise. It's so funny how it's going. like, it's so predictable. It's like, it was my yeah. next question is, okay, what did you do? Okay, one of the guys was like, looked like this. And he goes, does it make any sense? You know, the other two were like this. And I said, you had to have done something. And he goes, oh my God, he fell down the stairs the night before. <laughs> he forgot. He was a professor, a teacher at Life University wow. Northwest. So, okay. Have you okay. ever seen anyone like this? Oh, of course. Really? Yeah. This bad? No, 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 no. This. Like, oh, yeah, this all the time. You have to remember, like oh, yeah, that. you have to remember, if you take somebody in a chiropractic office, why are they there? Because their back is screwed up, right? Yeah, but isn't this perfect? It, it, it is what I see when I go into, like, I take someone who's, like, let's say 30 years old and has never had anything bad happen, they do look like that. Oh, I can't. Okay. As long as they've never had any trauma, they do lie. We have tons. I can show you on my computer tons of them. So we did a study at a university and we saw. But I'm not too bad, like on the scale of no. 1 to 10. No, see, this isn't terrible at all. It's just that the only things that, I, like I said, I'm concerned about. muscle mass. Yeah, it's just your. And your, also down here, yeah, the lower back. Yeah, here. and this is just showing the comp. And you're compensating. This isn't where you have pain. The pain could be on this side or that side. Muscles compensate for pain. So they're, it's very more on this side as a response to what you feel on this side. Yeah. Well, that's where your okay. pain is today. Yeah. Well, it's just today. Okay. Yeah. So that's cool. what happens. Okay. Hey. Great. Very cool. A little pleasure Enjoyed to meet you. Enjoyed that. Yes. Thank you.